everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for this video on my top 5 series, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favourite top 5 lipsticks. So number 1 on the list is a MAC lipstick and it's from the Amplified range. And this is the shade in Cosmo. And it looks like this. It's a really gorgeous, natural, plum nude shade and I think it's just really great um, to wear every day. It's in my go-to makeup pouch in my bag every day and basically it's like a My Lips But Better lipstick so it's kind of like similar to the shade of my natural lip colour just that it enhances it a little bit more giving it a little bit of a shine and I like how it's a very very sheer um, shine to it. It's not completely matte so it doesn't look like it dries out your lips and it doesn't look too glossy as well so it's not like an everyday overdone look. You know, it's just a very natural look and I'll swatch it for you now. So you can see here it's just a really simple natural gloss and it glides on really smoothly on my lips as well. So yeah, this is my number one out of my top five lipsticks. And then my number two is the Dior Addict Lip Glow. And I know a lot of you have heard me talk about this before. Um, it's been in my favourites a couple of times. And yes, it's still one of my top five lipsticks. It's not really a lipstick, it's more like a lip balm. But it's again like my lips but better. And there's no actual colour to it. So it kind of looks like that. I've kind of used it until it, the shape kind of went a little bit off. Does it happen to you guys? But yeah, um, this is uh, kind of how it looks like. Um, very simple. If I swatch it, there's really no colour that will show. So it's actually really like a transparent balm. I'm not sure if you can see a slight gloss to it. But yeah, um, it kind of helps to plump up your lips, if you get what I mean. And it doesn't really add much of a colour, just a little, little tint of a slight pinkish colour, but that's about it. And I absolutely love it. It really helps to keep your lips looking really healthy and plump and luscious without giving it too much of a um, not natural lipstick look, if you get what I mean. Ranked third is my... Cream Sheen Ravishing MAC Lipstick. So it's the shade in Ravishing and I'm sure a lot of YouTubers have talked about this shade. It's a really pretty coral shade. It's really bright and it just gives a very sweet and natural look whenever you use it. It's also great for an everyday look. Um, it's great for spring and summer and MAC lipsticks are really hydrating and great for our lips. So yeah, I really love this. Um, this used to be in my go-to, but then now um, Cosmo has kind of like replaced it. So yeah, Ravishing is something that I go to a lot. And yeah, let me swatch this for you here. So you can see that the color is really gorgeous and pigmented. A really nice coral, orangey, pinkish shade. Ranked fourth on my top five lipsticks um, is actually um, the 3CE, 3 Concept Eyes Lip Lacquer. And this is in the shade Bon Bon and it's just really gorgeous. I have like six of these um, lip lacquers and I love all the other colours. I just go to this the most often and it's just, it really applies on kind of like paint. So it has the really nice, simple to use lip applicator. And I'll swatch this for you here. So you can see the colour is really pigmented. And it's kind of similar to Ravishing, just that it's a little bit brighter and more outstanding. It's a great spring and summer lipstick look. And the great thing about this is that it lasts a lot longer than other lipsticks that I use. Lip lacquers from 3CE really stay on like Miracle lipsticks. Um, only after eating and then you wipe it off a little, then it comes off. But it kind of kind of stains your lips as well. Uh, so yeah, I really love how long-lasting the 3CE lip lacquers are. And Bon Bon is just one of my favorite shades. I love the entire range. And then finally on my fifth lipstick, um, it's also a MAC lipstick and it's a red one. So instead of all new neutral colours, I decided to pick um, a bright hot red for my fifth favourite lipstick. And it's the colour in Ruby Woo and it's a matte lipstick and it looks like this. 
I actually picked this up after reviewing many, many types of red lipsticks and this is the best red lipstick to give you that full red lip look that you are going for, the classy kind of full matte red lip look. This will not fail you. I think it's suitable for all skin types. Um, it's not too chilly red and it's not too dark plum red. It's just a perfect, gorgeous, um, classic red. So if you're looking for a classic red lipstick to give you that really nice, full lip Angelina Jolie kind of look, then you should go for Ruby Woo from MAC. And I'll swatch it here for you. So it applies on kind of like a crayon and it just looks really gorgeous on the lips. And I actually do have a lip liner that matches the Ruby Woo lipstick, which is something that the MAC Counter Girl um, recommended me because um, when you do use red lips, uh, when you do apply red lips, it's better to line your lips before applying the lipstick because it helps to make it a lot more sharper and make your lips look a lot more fuller. So yeah. Um, this brings me to the end of me sharing my top 5 lipsticks and I would really like to know what are your top 5 lipsticks, what you guys want to recommend me or is it the same as mine. So yeah, it's been really fun sharing with you my top 5 series. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!